Hello, this is Jack Jackson again. In this video, we will be seeing how the Mayans represented natural numbers. Now, so far we've talked about Egyptian, Roman, and Babylonian numerals, and certainly they developed some interesting number systems, but uh, many other cultures developed their own numeration systems. One that's particularly nice is the one developed by the Mayans. The Mayans had a place value system with a base of 20. Perhaps they chose 20 as their base because they were counting fingers and toes. Warm culture, you know, a lot of sandals. They used a very simple structure for their digit, uh, which, like Babylonian numbers, uh, were built out of only two symbols. They, they used a dot for one and a horizontal bar for five. Using just these two symbols, they created the digits for what we would call 1 through 19, and they also had a symbol for 0 that they used as a placeholder. The following page shows all 20 of their digits. In my notes file that my students get, there are, these are saved as individual pictures, so each digit can be copied and pasted to construct Mayan numerals. So here are the digits. Here's their special symbol for zero. All the others are built out of either a dot or horizontal line or some combination. Here's one, two dots for two, three dots for three, four dots for four. Instead of five dots, they've grouped them together to make a horizontal line. So this part's kind of a, an additive um, thing, kind of like the Babylonians used for their digits and also just kind of like the, the Egyptians used for some of theirs, except the groupings here are in fives. Here's 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 is going to be two bars. 11 is going to pick up another one, 12, 13, 14. And then when you add another dot, that those dots are combined to make the, the third bar for 15. Here's 16, 17, 18, 19. But when we add one more, that's 20, which would be 1 in the second digit. So that would be a 1 in the digit and a 0 underneath because they, they did their digits vertically rather than horizontally. So again, they, they arranged their numbers vertically instead of horizontally. Higher place value digits were placed above the lower ones. So these are the units digit. These are the 20s digit here. Convert this to modern Hindu Arabic numerals. Hopefully you can do this. Press pause and come back when you got it. Well, this is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13 units, 13 ones, which is just 13. This is 5, 6, 7. Uh, groups of 20, so that's 140. Add that together, that's 153. Okay, well, I said that mine use a base 20. That's almost true. They grouped in 20s on every digit except for one. Mayans were definitely interested in creating accurate calendars, and they noticed that there were approximately 18 groups of 20 in a year. That's 360 days a year. Their calendar actually had 360 days plus five unholy days. So it turned out to be a pretty accurate calendar. So for the second grouping, they grouped in groups of 18 instead of 20. For all other groups, they grouped in groups of 20. So this is a group of singles. This is groups of eight of 20 singles. This is a group of 18 groups of 20. In other words, groups of 360. So convert that one to Arabic numerals. So uh, these are each one of these here is eight. Well, let's start at the bottom. This is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 singles. This is 1, 2, 3 groups of 20 or 60. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 groups of 18 groups of 20. In other words, nine groups of 360, which is 3,420. Add those up, you get 3,000. 499 in Hindu Arabic numerals. Here are the values for the first several digits in Maya numerals. Of course, the lowest one is just single individuals, units. The next one's a group of 20. The next one is 1820s, which is 360, single group of 360 in uh, uh, our numbers. The next one is 20 groups of the 18 groups of 20, or 18, 20 groups of 360, which is one group of um, 7,200 individuals. The next one is 20 groups of the 20 groups of 18 groups of 20. In other words, 20 groups of 7,200, which is 144,000. And this one is 20 of those makes this many here, 2,880,000. So, you know, you can get up... Uh, 
get up pretty high a little faster than you can with a smaller base that we use of 10. You can get up to larger numbers with smaller digits. But it's not so big a base, say, as the, as the um, Babylonians used, so that a smaller number of symbols, only, only 20 symbols needed. In fact, at this grouping here, not even all 20 symbols would be used. So convert the following to Mayan numerals, 8,572. See if you can work this out on your own and come back and check your answer. Press pause now. Well, hopefully if you've seen how we did this for earlier types of numbers, like uh, Babylonian, for example, you should be able to figure out what we do here, maybe translate that. Uh, looking back at the digits, let's go back a couple of slides. Uh, notice that 8,400, whatever it was, is somewhere between these two numbers. So it's we won't need this digit here, but we will need one, two, three, four digits. So we're first going to be looking for the four, how many in the fourth digit, the, uh, the groups of this size here. So we take that number there, divide by 7,200. That's one remainder, 1,372. So it's one in that place. We take the 1,372 divided by 360 to see that we have three groups in the next level with 292 left over remaining. We divide that by 20, we get 14 in the next level with a remainder of six units at the end. So there is the Mayan number. And hopefully this gives you a quick introduction to Mayan numerals.